It's so good to be with you again, especially this early in the new year of 2007. I always enter a new period with high expectations, and I do so particularly on this occasion. I want to read to you today two or three sentences from an email that I received shortly after my becoming president of Asbury Theological Seminary. It came from a student that I've never met. Uh, he's just one of our very fine, very able, very committed students. I still haven't met him. I wouldn't know him, I suspect, if I saw him on campus. But he wrote to express his feelings about our seminary at this time when we were passing from one administration to another and when we were suffering certain measures of turmoil because of disagreements in the administration of the seminary, the kind of thing that any institution is likely to have, all the way from a home between members of a household to churches to corporations to nations to the world. There are times when we have to have better understanding and thus to know where our future is. And this student wrote to me, among other things, I can already tell great things are taking place and great things will come about. We are going to be better for going through this. This is our defining moment in history. I truly believe this. I believe this too. I have so much confidence in Asbury Theological Seminary because I have so much confidence in God and in the fact that God in His mercy and goodness and wisdom chose to raise up Asbury Theological Seminary. I don't think that this seminary is an accident, a blip in history. I think it is part of the purposes of God for God's creation. I don't believe it's the only purpose of God. I think there are numbers of great Christian institutions scattered all over the world. We are only one of them. We happen to have a rather unique place, if I may dare to put together the word rather and unique, because we are not quite singular, but almost so, in our influence within a certain area of Christianity and of Orthodox Evangelical Christianity. Our role is a most significant one, and one, therefore, that I cherish for us to do well. In other words, to do it the way God wants it done. I think that we are at a defining moment in this regard, that Asbury Theological Seminary has grown tremendously for a period of a number of years. The last two years, we seem to be leveling off in that growth, and we needed, therefore, to examine ourselves as an institution. But at the same time, we were continuing to grow in the quality of our faculty, in the blessing of our facilities, in the expanding of our internet educational program, and in our expectations of our great Florida campus, as well as our home campus here in Kentucky. We had so much going for us that we really needed desperately to sit down and ask ourselves some questions. Why are we here? What is Asbury Theological Seminary meant to do for the purposes and the kingdom of God? Do we know why God called us into existence? Do we know how God expects us to adjust to the new time that is ahead? Can we make adjustments to a changing world without losing the integrity of the ancient gospel? Can we serve God faithfully and effectively through changing times, keeping up with the times, being ahead of the times, and yet at the same time, keeping our focus on eternity as any institution of God ought to do? I'm glad that we've been forced to do that kind of thinking. I'm being compelled to do it every day. I know I'm not capable of doing it alone. And when I say that, it is no pious statement that I know I need God's help. That's utterly obvious. I need the help of thinking, prayerful people like you. 
I need your prayers. And when you have a good insight, I'll be glad for your insight. I can't promise to do all the things people tell me to do. And sometimes they would be in conflict with others. I can't promise even to have the time to do all the things that you would want me to do, to say nothing of the ability. I do know that I want to do God's purpose. And I do know that I can count on your help. And I want that. So I hope you'll pledge with me what I'm feeling these days, that this student who wrote to me, we are going to be better for going through this. This is our defining moment in history. I believe that, and I believe it's a great moment in our history. I am honored before God to have the privilege of working with you, whether you are faculty or student or alumni or simply someone who chanced to hit this spot on the internet. I'm glad to be working with you for the cause and the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And I hope that you prayerfully will be with me in God's defining moment for this particular institution and for its contribution to the greater kingdom of God. Thanks be to God and amen.